Now we're moving beyond the standard forming machines into another level of product that really lets customers create quality finishes and tackle more specialized projects. No other machine comes close to the English wheel for forming compound curves. Pressure can be varied by moving the lower wheel, or anvil, closer or farther away from the upper wheel. The upper wheel is basically flat on the rolling surface, with the lower anvils having different curved surfaces. As the metal rolls between the wheels, it recreates the curve of the lower anvil in the metal. The English wheel is ideal for custom auto shops, especially for restoration projects. The planishing hammer is used in the finishing process to remove dents, finely shaped, and smooth panels. The planishing hammer uses thousands of repetitive, glancing blows per minute to smooth the metal. It's great for smaller pieces and will work the metal faster than the English wheel. As we look at the main components of the English wheel, we see the upper rolling wheel and the location where the lower anvil fits. The foot wheel adjusts the gap between the wheels, thereby increasing or decreasing the pressure. Storage brackets on the back support keep all of the anvils and wheels handy for quick changes as you're shaping the metal. The English wheel is a highly valuable tool especially in the custom automotive industry. It may seem easy because you're just moving metal back and forth between the two wheels, but those in the industry that use the machine talk about taking a lifetime to master it. When I mentioned to my brother-in-law, who works in a custom automotive shop and restores classic cars, that we were launching a new metal forming line, the first thing he asked me was, do you have an English wheel? For those who work in this industry, this is the machine they dream about owning. The English wheel, so beautiful, so simple. All it does is roll back and forth. It's quiet. What does it do, you ask? Well, it gets rid of dents. It puts shapes in panels. Look at this. So just after a few rolls, this panel has gone from perfectly flat to a nice smooth dome, so it's great for making door skins, you know, if you want to make it nice and curved, that would have been, boom, really fast. Um, if you need to, like, sh shape a fender, you got dents in it, you can roll it in there. Now, this one from Jet, some of the beautiful things about our, it's got a 45-inch throat depth. That's huge in the industry. Barely any have something like that. It's got casters on the bottom that actually, like, you put a wrench on there, open it up, it's going to pull the wheel up so you have a, a, a nice way to store it. You can move it over into a corner so it becomes very accessible. It has a quick release function, so in order to change it, it's really simple. Just drop it down, pull out your die. Now, if you look at the other side, you wonder, like, what are all these 10 do? Man, there's so many, because this is unusual. you got your normal six um, dies here, and these come in various radius radii. And what you want to do is pick your shape and your panel that you're going to use. So if it's really flat, you're going to use this die. If it has the most crown, you're going to want to use this one right here. So that's pretty simple. That's the normal English wheel. Now what Jed has done is they've actually turned this into a bead roller. So not only can you do shaping, but you can do bead rolling. Normally, you'd have to buy a whole separate machine in order to do this operation, whereas Jet's allowed you to do this with the same tool. So you're saving a lot of money. Now let me show you how this works. I'm going to pull the quick change, pull the upper out, replace it with one of our other dies, which matches. Switch it out. Okay, now that simple. Lock it off and it'll turn it into a bead roller this fast. Watch how cool this is. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with a, a beginning pass, crank it up some. Turn it up, 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 turn it up. Now, wheel it through. Now we got a beginning pass. All right, look how nice that bead is. Now it's pretty amazing that this wheel will not only do the normal English wheel functions, but it'll also do bead rolling, step rolling, 
Now it's capable of 16 gauge, eighth inch aluminum, 45 inch throat depth. So no matter what kind of sheet metal work you're doing, this is gonna be a great tool for you. Jet's English wheel is loaded, and I mean loaded with features. We can form sheet metal and roll beads, which not everyone can do. Having both of these functions in the same machine is an incredible bonus for our customers. We include four upper rolling wheels and 10 lower anvil wheels with different crowns to create different curves, more than anyone else in the market. Our wheels and anvils are polished, which is important for a smooth finish in the metal. Jet continues to innovate and we have recently improved how we raise and lower the retractable casters. We've added a built-in handle so no tools are needed to move the machine. We also have a quick release handle for changing the wheels and we've added extra support to the frame so it has the durability our customers need to complete their projects. Again, you'll note that Tensmith doesn't even have an English wheel in their line at all, reinforcing Jet's breadth of line. The 45 inch throat depth clearly surpasses what's available in the marketplace. Our English wheel has a more durable, heavy duty frame, which can be most clearly seen by looking at the front support legs of our model versus Bailey. Retractable casters lets the user move the machine where he needs it whether that's on the side of the shop when it's not in use, or close to the project as he's fine-tuning the shape and finish of the metal. The planishing hammer can quickly smooth metal, finely shape, and smooth roughed out panels. Similar to the English wheel, its primary use would be within the automotive industry. Sometimes the planishing hammer is also called a power hammer. At the top of the machine is a pneumatic hammer that rapidly hits the metal below resting on the anvil. There's a BPM adjustment knob that can control the speed of the hammer or how many hits per minute the machine is delivering. All right, you might think that this is a regular old jet planishing hammer that came out a couple of years ago. You would be wrong. This is the brand new redesigned hammer and I'm going to show you some of the new features. Now, come on down. First thing, it's got little wheels. So you start cranking on that. It's going to cantilever two little legs. They're going to push and take it off of the wheels, makes it a little more stable. Now in the back, originally there was just one coming down. Now we got a nice four part platform. So we got four legs instead of two. So it's a lot more stable than it used to be. This is still your adjustment. Tighten it up where you got just about metal thickness normally. Lock it off, good to go. And if you come around the side, come around back here. Got a new wrench that comes with it, that's new. Little place to put it, which is handy. You still get your uh, place for your different dies. And if you come over here, oh, look at there. There's a cute little hidden handle. So when you do decide to walk away, you got a way to drag it off into the distance. And if you remember from last time, what really sets this hammer apart is one, the value, you get a 24 inch throat depth. But one of the unique things that Jet came out with when they, when they did this machine is they did an electric switch. And what that really makes a difference is normally you would be a lever here because it's a pneumatic throw pushing that hammer. With electric switch, I can get all the way out here and I can do it from any distance. And if you got a long panel, that really makes for a, a handy feature. Now let me get my earplugs and I'll show you how this baby works. Okay, so if you look, you can see how that's really making a dome, starting to bring it up. So it's like a hammer and dolly, stretching that material out, it's straightening at the same time. And where we really use it are a couple of ways. One, we weld two panels together, we run this back over the weld stretches it, straightens it, works beautiful. Second, if you want to do a small area, it's easy to just whoop, whereas if you're trying to do a wheel, you really need to move the wheel. So this straightens and stretches nice little areas better than anything else. So if you're in the market for a planishing hammer, check out the new one from Jet. It's a beauty.
The planishing hammer is delivering thousands of blows a minute. The stabilizer bar and back legs provide extra support and stability. We also have a quick release handle for changing the upper dies without needing any extra tools. Our three speed regulator controls the speed of the pneumatic hammer, which gives the user great finishing control. Again, no Tensmith model is available in this category. Jet's planishing hammer is full of features. Our heavy duty frame, stabilizer bar, and back legs provide extra support. Our machine can easily be moved around the shop, while the Bailey unit has no wheels, so it would be very difficult to move. We can adjust the BPM setting. Bailey has only one setting, which is at the maximum of 4600 BPM. So let's recap the English wheel first. The English wheel is the way to go for forming compound curves, plus our machine can also roll beads. The 45 inch throat depth is the best on the market. Retractable casters make moving the machine incredibly easy. Our frame design means this machine is going to hold up for years of use. And we include more wheels and anvils than anyone else in the market. The planishing hammer is also a great finishing machine. Users can control the BPM, resulting in greater control of finishing and metal forming. We definitely have improved our design by adding the stabilizer bar and back legs. And with our handle and wheels, we're the only ones that offer this type of mobility around the shop.